Over a million cars were stolen last year. That's one car stolen every 32 seconds. Today, we are gonna be talking about the cars that get stolen the most, including this Charger Hellcat, which apparently thieves love to steal. We're gonna talk about why these are so easy to steal and a bunch of other cars. If your car is on this list, I hate to tell you, chances are it's already stolen. Welcome to Donut. There are a lot of ways to define which car is the most stolen. So first, we're gonna talk about the cars that put up the highest numbers of total thefts. All right, you probably won't be shocked to learn that this list starts with Hyundai. It's so easy to steal Hyundais that it's a meme. We made a video about it and we got in trouble for it. If you wanna watch it, I'm gonna put a link to it at the end of this video. It's such an easy car to steal that someone can break in, start the car, and post the TikTok of them doing it all within 60 seconds. Altogether, 21,707 Hyundai Sonatas were stolen in the US last year. It's so bad that some insurance companies won't even insure a Hyundai or a Kia in Milwaukee. In fact, Milwaukee and other cities are suing Hyundai. Now, it's no surprise that the next spot on this list goes to the LeBron James of getting stolen. Whether you like it or not, you gotta admit, this car gets stolen a lot. I am, of course, talking about the Honda Accord. These cars are reliable, all right? They got good little motors in them that people like to pull out and put in other cars. And most importantly, they're literally all the frick around, all right? Last year alone, 27,089 Accords got stolen, and the most stolen of all Accords is the 1997 model year. Car stealers love 97 Accords because that was the last year that they didn't have any anti-theft stuff. The next most stolen car is the Accord's little brother, the Civic. Now, if the Accord is the LeBron James of getting stolen, the Civic is, let's say, the Michael Jordan of getting stolen because it's 2.4 inches narrower. Just like Michael Jordan is 2.4 inches narrower than LeBron. Now, just like the Accord, the Civic didn't have any modern anti-theft devices until 1997. Stolen Civics are often revend or parted out, and the most stolen year of the Civic is 2000, which is a really good year for the SI, and the last year of the EK, a car that I would love to steal but I won't. In 2022, 27,113 Civics were stolen in the US. That is a lot of Civics. That's more Civics than eighth grade Civics class. Hey, Jerry just sent this to me. What's he trying to say? Let me see. Well, yeah. Oh, so he's saying that there's three guys, right? Uh-huh. Fast forward to 35 years old, and two of the guys are experiencing male pattern baldness. I think that one's you. How's that me? But with today's sponsor, Keeps, you can get clinically proven treatments conveniently delivered right to your front door. Keeps connects you to a licensed medical provider who will help personalize treatment plans to tackle your hair goals. In addition to clinically proven treatments, Keeps offers hair thickening shampoo, conditioner, and styling pomade. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or take better care of the hair that you have, remember Remember, hair loss stops with Keeps. Click the link below or go to keeps.com slash donut media for a special offer to get started. All right, you're probably thinking, hmm, is the next car on the list a Hyundai or a Honda? No, it's not. It's the exact opposite, a Ford full-size pickup truck. While modern Ford trucks have better anti-theft security, Ford Super Duty trucks built before 2006 are extremely easy to break into and start up. We're talking 20 seconds in and out. It's all due to their easily bypassable ignition system. Last year, I crap you not, 48,175 full-size Ford trucks were stolen, more than 20,000 more than the next car, the Honda Civic. But the number one spot of the most stolen car by sheer numbers on this list is another truck. This time, 
it's a Chevy. Chevy full-size pickup trucks account for the most stolen car in 2023 by sheer numbers. And that sheer number is 49,903. Good thing I am on a water fast right now because I would do a spit take and it would straight up soak Gabe and Joe who are right behind the camera. There's a lot going on behind the camera that you guys don't know about. If you want to know some of that stuff, click that join button below because we got a little thing called the Donut Underground. It's our membership program. You get all kinds of perks like quarterly stickers, exclusive merch, and access to our Discord as well as exclusive lives. All right, so that's the most stolen cars by numbers, but what about the most cars stolen at one time? I'm talking about heists, baby. The coolest crime you can do because you do it with your friends, and at the end of it, you have cool stuff. Last year, a total dump truck of a car heist was exposed when the California Highway Patrol seized 35 cars from a perp who had fraudulently purchased them from dealerships around Van Nuys. Some of the cars, including a Bentley Continental, Aston Martins, Beamers, Porsches, Land Rovers. Altogether, the cars were worth about $2.3 million. That's not even the biggest curve that ever happened. How about try North Korea stealing a thousand cars from Sweden? Huh? Try that. Try that on for size. Does that fit? Back in the 1970s, Sweden shipped a bunch of stuff, uh, which included heavy machinery and 1,000 Volvo 144 sedans. Then North Korea, just quit answering the phone. They shipped $70 million worth of fine machinery and got ghosted. And they didn't forget about it. Because twice a year, they send them a bill, which now uh, amasses $322 million. And you know what North Korea does? They say, Fuck you, Sweden. Thanks for those cars, guys. All right, so a lot of times when you get your car stolen, you're never gonna see it again. Sometimes you do, but sometimes it takes a long time. And one time, that long time, was 38 years. Back in 2019, cops in Livonia, Michigan, got a hot tip about a dark blue C3 Corvette parked on the street with no plates. After a little gumshoeing, the local gumshoes found out that it had fake VINs on it. Hey! That's a lead! Turns out that the Corvette was stolen in 1981. It only had 10,000 miles on it. It was really, really good condition. But here's the thing, they can't find the owner. But if you ask me, you might want to check the cemetery or a mausoleum or the bottom of the ocean. You get where I'm going with this? That guy is probably dead. You know what's dumb? Stealing a Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse. There's literally nowhere to hide. It's a very conspicuous car. And that is exactly what some Polish thieves found out pretty quickly. Three no good nicks decided to break into the home of a wealthy Swiss man and steal a BMW 7 Series, a Ferrari 599 GTB, and a Bugatti Veyron Vitesse, the world's fastest roadster. The plan was simple, break in, steal the cars, head back to Poland, but they found out how conspicuous it is to drive $3 million in supercars on normal highways. German police spotted them almost immediately, uh, but their cars weren't fast enough to follow the 1,200 horsepower W16 Bugatti for very long. But you know what was fast enough? A little thing that I like to call helicopters. The driver of the Ferrari uh, ditched his car, got on a train, and they never found him, but the other two guys were caught after the Bugatti lost control and careened into a road barrier, which totally scraped it up, which is a total shame. To add insult to injury, the criminals were taxed because Switzerland is not part of the EU and somehow driving the cars over the border into the EU meant that they had to pay tax and tariffs, which came out to about $500,000. Now, a Bugatti Veyron is an expensive car. No one's gonna argue that, right? But it's not even the most expensive car ever stolen. Back in 2001, a very rare 1938 Talbot Lago was stolen from a guy in Wisconsin. Roy Leesky, a man who had made a name for himself making plastic, bought the car in 1967. Now, this particular car is one of only two 1938 Talbot Lago Guta Dio 
It's got a race engine in it, and it was imported and sold by Enzo Ferrari's right-hand man, Luigi Ginetti, in 1939. It's got a four-liter inline six that makes 140 horsepower, which in 1938 and it's pretty good. It sat mainly in pieces around his warehouse in Milwaukee for more than 40 years before one unlucky morning. And this is where it gets all Bradley Pitt and George Clooney. -y. All right, a few guys dressed in white overalls showed up to the warehouse, cut the phone lines, and used a crane to load up all the pieces of the car into an unmarked box truck. Now, they knew where every part was scattered around the warehouse, and they even stole all the documentation that was in Roy's freaking office. It was an inside job! Then, they loaded all the parts onto a train and sent it off, where eventually, they ended up in France, where the car was restored. Then, a few years ago, some guy in Illinois, of all places, bought it for $7.6 million. But when he tried to register it, the database flagged it as being stolen. Can you imagine buying a $7.6 million car and going to the DMV, and they're like, it's stolen? I'd be like, uh, can you check again? Good thing is that most of us don't have to worry about getting our 1938 Talbot Lagos stolen because we're smart enough to lock the garage. But if you own one of these next cars, you might wanna make sure that your theft insurance is up to date because these are the most stolen cars by percentage. That means out of the number of cars on the road, these have the highest percentage of them stolen. Essentially, these are the most stealable cars. Number five is the first and last British car on this list. It is the Range Rover four-door SUV. Now, according to an extensive study by the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety, if you own a Range Rover, you are 611% more likely to get your car stolen than average, which is surprising because Range Rovers like to not start. It's not a very reliable car but it's stolen a lot. Next up is the Dodge Challenger, the boring ones. This includes the SXT and the GT versions of the Challenger. These are the ones with the V6, not the Hemi. Now, the only reason I can think of that this car is so high on the list is because criminals sometimes aren't so smart, and maybe they think all Challengers have Hemi V8s. Uh, also, they're like rental cars a lot, so maybe people just don't return them. I don't know, I could probably Google it, but I didn't. Uh, these cars are very easy to steal, as I'm gonna show you in a moment. If you own a V6 Challenger, you are 766% more likely to get your car stolen. Now, there's only three more cars to go, and I'm worried that my car will be number one. Number three of the most stolen cars is the Infiniti Q50. First glance, this doesn't really make sense because I don't see a lot of these. Honestly, it's not a car I think about a lot, but when you see what's under the hood, it is more understandable. This sedan is powered by a twin turbo, three liter V6, the same engine that is in the new Z. So, pretty fun for a joyride car, but after a bit of digging, I found the biggest reason why Infinities are stolen. Apparently, the car's computer can be hacked pretty easily if you're a sick hacker like me, and through that, Thieves can reprogram new key fobs to start the car, so you don't even need to hotwire it. If you own an Infiniti Q50, you're 878% more likely to have your car stolen. Continuing with our high horsepower trend, number two on this list is another Dodge. Dodge Charger Hemi. Now this iconic V8 delivers a lot of horsepower to whomever is willing to spend the 30 seconds it takes to steal it. To demonstrate how easy it is to steal Dodgers and Challengers. We're gonna break into this one. Now, I'm not gonna tell you guys how to steal a Hellcat because that would be irresponsible, but apparently there is some way that you can put the car into neutral so that you can push it out of somebody's driveway and either flat tow it or push it really far away with another car so you have enough time to reprogram a new key fob with an Android app that's pretty easily downloadable. Now, I wouldn't tell you that because that would be irresponsible. If you have a Dodge Charger with a Hemi, the chances of getting your car stolen are 2,197% more likely than average. But that's just a fraction 
of the number one spot. Coming in at number one on our list of most stolen cars is this, the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. One of the highest trim levels of chargers and the most stolen. Everyone loves a Hellcat, but if you own a Hellcat, you are over 6,128% more likely to have your car stolen than average. I don't think I'm out of line when I say that's insane. I know I don't have to say this, guys, but don't steal cars. It sucks and it's mean. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. As promised, here is a video we made about stealing Kias. We are now in every Zoomies in North America and Blue Tomatoes in Europe. Uh, follow me on Instagram at James Pumphrey or on TikTok at Kentucky Cobra. I'll fuck you.